forward. As does everyone with a functioning brain who plays Ryu. Yep. Uh, for one thing, focus is non-existent. Like, Luma invalidates focus attack because literally all of her hits are multi-hit with that little star on the field. It's worth noting that not even just in Luma alone does everything appear to be a double hit, but a lot of Rosalina's aerial normals are also double hits. Now, only really forward air. Neutral air if you time it, right? <laughs> I usually be able to get out. But the point is that another part of this matchup that can be difficult is just the fact that Rosa has this disjoint in Luma. At the same time, though, uh, Ryu, you know, he is Ryu. If he manages to get that opening, Rosa just explodes. She's so light! Like that! Look at that! He's gone! There's the opening that you need. Jen taking a very impressive lead, making sure not to... No, Shake at this very daunting matchup, proving that there is plenty of counterplay from Ryu. He has a lot of meaty hits. A good amount of his kid is able to remove Luma from the field, and but more importantly, separating Rosalina and Luma. It's one thing if Luma's just not there and it takes several seconds to respond. But if Luma's there and inactive, actively not helping Utopian Ray, then that's a world of opportunity that Jen has to open up a lot of percentage and get those opportunities to kill. Another thing about this matchup is the fact that Ryu has a garbage air dodge. For those of you who don't know, oh wow, yeah, he was nearly. Hey, it saved him there. It saved him there, but he has like extra three or four frames of lag on his air dodge. That's sort of, I guess, to you know get Ryu players to use focus attack more. But that means that those up airs, it's so much easier to frame trap with them if you're uh, Utopian Ray. The dash attack almost closing it out. The up air still not doing it. Jen staying alive, and him staying alive right now is actually really good for him. With this much rage, he literally only needs two hits, and then all of a sudden, Utopian's up. Okay. Yeah, no, he's not living that long, though. Back air coming in to end that stock. Jen waiting a little bit just to see how he can approach the situation. And with 35% onto Utopian Ray already, it's still stacked against him, but certainly doable. Yeah, okay, the back air finally finding its mark. At the same time, Jen is trying to play aerial base, but he's just not able to compete with Rosa. Without a jump, he's not even going to be able to make it back, despite that huge early lead. Wah. Yeah, you told me he didn't care. He's like, okay, yeah, you killed me at 50 for stock. But, yeah, I'm just going to... I am i don't care if I don't kill you until 180. Because I just am able to do it. Topian Ray, he's one of those guys where he does not lose focus. He's so, he's just so in tune to the game, so aware of neutral that he is going to you know, just accept it, you know? Because he knows what his win condition is going to be, just outplaying his opponent. Speaking of acceptance, it seems that Jen is just rolling with the, uh, the Ryu for this. No counter picks, no different characters, staying true to his main. We're going to Battlefield for game two. Very interesting. So. It, both of these characters love to kill off the top, but at the same time, so we like I think the actual survivability on Battlefield, although it is a factor, it's not a huge amount, you know. Uh, but the thing is that the point at which you become a threat. So basically, uh, Soryu isn't going to become threatening for Utopian Ray until about like five percent later, which like when you are a Ryu player, you want to scare your opponent, like. Especially players like Jen just feed off of that fear. Oh, but he is not even able to find a single opening right now. Utopian Ray just taking him for a ride. Not able to get down to the ground. Not able to get back to stage. Really just struggling to get anything started. No percentage, no stage control, no hope right now. Jen trying to get something. He's going to manage a throw. But these sparse hits aren't really going to do anything for him if he's not able to maintain any sense of stage control or pressure onto Utopian Ray. Luma's still alive and healthy. The stage completely owned by Ray. And it's looking devastating in this game, too. A forward smash is going to be cleaning up that stock. And generally a lot more of a loss for play as opposed to game one. I think yeah. the pick into a stage with a lot more surface area for Ray to control that Rosalina has no trouble with controlling was a bit of a bad move. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like Jen went here to maybe give himself some extra landing options, but those landing options aren't even existing because Utopian Ray can just chase him all the way up to the top. Really smart there, using the forward throw to knock Luma, oh sorry, the up throw to knock Luma away. 58% on Utopian Ray. If you're Jen, you need to think about 
getting a little bit more damage so that at the very least, sure, you can be a threat. At the same time, though, up tilting Rosa is really hard purely because of Luma. Just because, you know, normally, like, you know, Ryu will up tilt, up tilt, up tilt. You have to just, you know, you have to be scared of him. You have to respect it. But when Rosa has Luma, yeah, she can just challenge it all the time. There it yep. is. Yep. 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 Convincing. <sighs>